there were people looking in their window at me like why are you filming a makeup brush? <laughs> so first up I shall start with the piece de resistance even though that's really meant to be at the end. The Kat Von D Pastel Goth Eyeshadow Palette. So this was $60 which is around £40 and those who want to be anal can not do that exchange rate. And what attracted me to this palette is a colour called Star, that's the yellow. And apparently the sales girl in Sephora said that it's really pigmented and easy to apply, whereas Meow, Dope and Doom are a little bit lighter and need packed on a bit more. I'm really interested in using Skull in the corner of my eyes to kind of give that brightening and widening effect. It comes with a very handy mirror. Oh, there you go, you can see the camera in all its glory. Um, but most importantly, these beautiful colours. So a kind of yellowy, uh, it's quite pinky clementine as opposed to orange. Meow is kind of lilac purple. Dope is kind of violety purple with Doom being really highly pigmented blue but apparently doesn't go on as such. Um, Gloom, which is a bit of a forest green. Danger, um, which is a nice charcoal and Skull, which is bright white. So I'm really looking forward to getting into this colour set at the weekend. Next up is the Tartet Clay Paint Liner Eyeliner. So this was one that, a, a brand that is recommended by Jamie Genevieve. I think she's one of the ambassadors and I've always been intrigued by Tarte. You don't tend to get it in the UK, but of course in Australia we have Sephora. So essentially it's a bit of an amalgamation between um, a liquid liner pen and a gel pot and brush. Um, but they come as one package which makes it easier for storing. So I'm hopeful that this gives me the thick cat eye that I'm kind of looking for at the weekend. Um, I've previously tried the tattoo liner by Kat Von D but found it ran out really quickly um, and did tend to crumble at times. So let's get into it and see what the package is like. Oh. Okay, not what I expected. So, it comes with this angled brush, um, which is quite fine in nature. Um, the angle's interesting, that must make you angle your flick, I guess is the intention behind that. And then there is a little tube, a bit like a mini mascara. Next up is the where is pore pore glowing moisture stick pore ritual by i want to say kale leon but that's probably not how you say it so you can correct me if anyone knows how to actually say that this was 25 dollars and essentially i bought this because the pores on my nose you could literally body a body in at the moment it's not a pretty picture and all I'm doing is clogging my pores up with foundation when I put it on and it's really obvious um, so I'm hoping that this provides a bit of moisture helps with the dryness apparently you can put it on before or after um, makeup and it's anti-wrinkle I quite like the cute wee triangular packaging that it comes in it's the tip on the box says tap on dry areas over makeup and finish with packed. I'm not really sure what that means, but we'll give it a go. So this is what this looks like. Oh, it opens up like in a fun way. Surprise! It's like origami box. I like it. 
and this is the nice packaging. I really like the colours. Um, good job. So we'll see how this goes. I haven't actually read any reviews. I just felt compelled to buy it as a last minute purchase. Like I hadn't already bought enough. Oh well. Sticking with the skincare theme. This was a last minute.com. I'm in the queue and I think this looks handy. Purchase. Um, the Estee Lauder Daywear Cream SPF 50 which is not that high however I'll also have 15 in my foundation um, this cost 20 pound 20 sorry dollars <clears throat> 20 dollars and is really something that I want to be able to fit into my makeup bag for taking to the gym um, when I don't want to take my big beast of a moisturiser um, with me. I'm also actually really bad at moisturising so I'm hoping that this encourages me to do a bit more. Um, it's got a little um, instruction leaflet and this is the cute little tub. So it's really light um, in weight and I'm hoping this means that I will actually carry it about to put it on my face. Is there anything more satisfying than this moment when you take that lid off and then you see all the creaminess? Oh, it smells delicious. It's kind of cucumbery in nature. I actually can't wait to get this bad boy on. I think I might take my makeup off and put it on right this minute. Hello. I just realised how much I paid for this by looking at the receipt. So originally I was looking for a uh, Makeup Forever, I think. Makeup Forever, oh no, it was a uh, Zoeva. I was looking for a Zoeva um, makeup brush. Um, and there weren't any fan brushes. And I really want a fan brush for the next product that I will show. Um, just to apply to the top of the cheekbones for primarily highlighting. So I said to the sales assistant in Sephora, I'm looking for a Zoeva fan brush, are there any? As per usual, there were not. And she said, I'll find you an alternative from Sephora. Not thinking it would be more expensive than the bloody Zoeva one, but however, $38? <laughs> $38, which is like, 22 quid on a brush that's very small however it's pretty and this I've been on the hunt for a long time for it is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Poured Cream so Becca is used a lot by makeup artists in the YouTube world but um, more often than not, they use the powdered version. I really like creams because I have dry skin and I always think that this is going to sit better on my dry skin. So I got the creamy version. I actually wanted a different colour. I think the rose gold, but it had sold out. So I got Champagne Pop on the recommendation that I would go with my red hair. So this bad boy was actually $62. I actually didn't realise that either. This is bad. How did I not realise this? Mm. Anywho, um, let's see what it looks like inside. So it says on the back, light up the features you love with the golden luminosity of champagne pop. Well, if that isn't a reason to buy this product, I don't know what is. So it looks fairly unassuming in this simple tin. Um, it's kind of silicone surround with a metal lid. And if we just open it up here, you'll see that this is the colour. Now, can you see that? It's quite brown, but it's kind of got a red tinge to it, which I'm hoping brings out... Um, or matches my hair colour. Oh, it's a bit smudgy. How rude. Look at this. 62 bucks and there's a bloody smudge. Hmm. 
anyway, waste not, want not. I shall, it gets used the same nonetheless, so who bloody cares? But yeah, I can't wait for the weekend to put that bad boy on. Um, yeah, apparently it's meant to reflect the sparkling light of champagne. So this is a brand that I've not actually ever heard of um, called 3CE. And this is their Stylinanda lip lacquer. I'm like wobbling about all over the shop. Ooh. Um, and I'll just check the colour. Oh, how original. XX orange. Um, but I was so looking forward to using this. I couldn't wait until after making this video. So I have taken it out for a test drive already. And this is it in all its glory. It looks pretty simple. Um, it's got a kind of soft kind of plastic lid um, with some nice branding on the front and then just a clear container and it's pretty cool I have to say it doesn't have that kind of really dry crumbly effect after a while it always still kind of stays a bit moist moist last time I used that word in this video I promise so I really like it. I think it's a kind of everyday orange as opposed to um, my brighter orange lipstick from MAC or some of the other orange lipsticks that I have acquired of late, including the Kat Von D one. So I'm quite excited about this everyday lip gloss. So this was a bit of a splurge to say the least. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Cream Kit. And I chose the colour me jump, even though I'm probably light or fair um, in terms of my skin tone matched to this palette. Um, primarily because of one thing only, which I'll reveal in a minute. Um, this was actually 70 bucks, which is definitely a splurge, but I think it's good value for money. It'll last for ages. The reviews are awesome. And it's kind of multi-purpose. So here you will see the colours that are in this contour kit. There is cream, banana and warm coral. That is a clue to what attracted me to this. And cinnamon, chocolate and ash brown. So if we have a look inside and I can show you that these are going to be really good for trying to sculpt some shape into my chubber of a face. Um, it says enhance your features. How about just give you some features? Let's hope. Um, oh, so here it is. It's a see-through palette, which I quite like as well, um, because it kind of reminds me to use it when I see it. Sometimes when it's behind a black box, I'm like, Oh, I forgot I had that. So I quite like this. Um, it's got a wee protector on it. Let's, oh, it's so satisfying. Oh, I love that. Um, so yeah, I'm hopefully gonna get into contouring because I haven't done any effectively before. This is it here. So yeah, this color, man, this color. I'm all about it and I actually think I'm going to use it on my lips and my eyeballs. Um, so watch this space to see if I actually manage to pull that off. Sticking with Anastasia Beverly Hills is this repeat little product which seemed to cost a lot more in Australia. It was 45 bucks but I've used it before. It's the Brow Definer. So instead of Brow Wiz, I actually really prefer this by Anastasia Beverly Hills. Um, and I got it in Auburn. So it's a triangular brow pencil and it has the, the really helpful spoolie at one end. And then at the other, it's got this sort of angled um, tip. And it's just really, really helpful for doing your brow. There we go. I'm like not even able to open it there. And I think it's not focusing, but 
uh, it's an angle, it's an eyebrow pencil. I mean, I don't think you can go far wrong. However, I really love it as a product and I really like the fact that they do it for redheads, which obviously I'm a fake, but still it's helpful. So I love this product and I haven't had one in ages. So I'm happy about this. So this little bad boy was inspired by my very good friend who recommended it after seeing it in a Jamie Genevieve video. It's the Alpa H, is that how you say it? Uh, liquid gold with glycolic acid. Sounds so sexy, but it promises to rejuvenate and firm the skin and I mean who doesn't want liquid gold on their skin um, and that's probably why it cost a pretty penny it was $60 as well but it says revitalizes revitalizes and assists in firming the skin in a single application through a multi-action formula of silk protein and what's the magic ingredient can you guess drum roll licorice weird but I'm, uh, I'm excited to try it my friends know it's difference in only I think three applications so we shall see if it works miracles on my skin um, I've had three people say to me in the last week that I look very tired so I'm hoping that this helps with that um let's open the bottle Ooh, I mean it looks fairly simple it's nice to hold it's smooth but yeah just to kind of beige bottle so I'm gonna to have to be very sparing with my application of this I have a tendency to like whack it on and overdo it so I need to be a bit more careful and then the finale makeup forever mist and fix too so I'd initially picked up a big bottle of this for like 60 bucks but at the till there was a mini bottle uh, I've only ever used the Urban Decay makeup fixer, which was pretty good. Anyway, I'm really keen to try how this goes and I might even attempt to put it on tomorrow after the gym and see if it lasts all day at work. So I think it's going to be pretty straightforward. Yep, it kind of looks like makeup brush cleaner, which is a little bit off-putting, but it's small, it's compact, it's... Hopefully gonna work miracles. We shall see. And then, because Sephora are so nice, actually because I spent so much bloody money, I got a free Tarte Maracuja oil. I don't know what this is. I will be honest, and I haven't done my homework to check. Um, it says, I don't even know what it says, rich in essential fatty acids. Mm, lovely. You put it on your face, it's meant to hydrate and 96% of those it's been tested on saw an overall visible improvement in their skin. So yeah, I'll give it a bash. Uh, let's have a look. Oh, Tarte do nice packaging. It's a bit like Benefit. It's cute. So. I'll give that a go along with my other nighttime skincare products. So that is it. All the products from my Sephora haul. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye. Uh.